Welcome back to Tain Slade Info. This video will provide vital information about the recent talks between India and Australia in order to jointly manufacture the amphibious seaplane for the search and rescue, coastal surveillance and aeromedical evacuation roles. Chennai-based startup company Hawking Defence Services has joined hands with the amphibian aerospace industries of Australia in order to set up a joint venture to manufacture Australian companies 28-seater Albatross aircraft in India. The joint venture also includes the setup of the water aerodromes for the aircraft to operate. So what actually are water aerodromes? A water aerodrome is an open area which has water that can be used by seaplanes as well as amphibious aircraft to land and take off. Water aerodromes can be built at much less cost and time as compared to the land-based airports. The aerodromes do not require any physical construction of the runway and also it will cost approximately only around $60,000 to build one. Amphibian Aerospace Industries are the manufacturers of the Grumman HU-16 Albatross, which is a large twin radial engine amphibious seaplane which were operated by the United States Air Force, the United States Navy and United States Coast Guard. Since these seaplanes are not active in manufacturing units, the Chennai-based company and the Australian-based company would be coming up with a new variant which would be based on the Grumman HU-16 Albatross. The new variant of seaplane has been named as G111T Albatross and this will come up with a better engine which would be a new Pratt & Whitney PT6AX engine with improved performance, fuel efficiency and reliability. In addition to the plan of jointly manufacturing these new variants of seaplanes in Chennai, both these companies also have plans to establish a facility for MRO services for these amphibious aircraft. For all this, approximately an investment of 1000 crore rupees would be done. Initially, the Chennai-based company would manufacture spare parts for these Australian seaplanes and slowly assemble the entire plane in India and this might be a reality in next 5 years. Even before this, India had shown similar interest in procuring seaplanes from Japan. The purchase of 12 to 15 Shinmaiwa US 2I amphibious and rescue aircraft from Japan has been put on hold due to several reasons, including the lack of funds by the Indian Navy. In addition to this, even Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has plans to design and manufacture an amphibious aircraft which would be based on the Dornier 228 aircraft. Even though Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has plans to design and manufacture amphibious aircraft, according to me, let Hindustan Aeronautics Limited concentrate on their current backlog. The main reason for India to plan for procuring these amphibious aircrafts or seaplanes is to help the Indian Navy in inter-island communication, search and rescue and reconnaissance of islands. Not just that, it would also help the Indian Navy to use them for delivering spares and tools to the warships of deep sea in urgent situations. So let's hope at least this time India and Australia work together and come up with a new variant of seaplane which can be procured by the Indian Navy in future. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.